Then on Sports Central, we over March Madness game preview and prediction on the Sweet 16 matchup between the Miami Hurricanes and the Iowa State Cyclones, two of the big underdogs remaining in the tournament as we head into the Sweet 16. Should make for a good matchup. We'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today, starting out with your team trends. Miami is 25 and 10 overall heading into this matchup, 14 and 6 in ACC play this season, and 1 and 2 in games against the top 25. And if you look at Iowa State, 22 and 12 overall this season, along with a 7 and 11 um, Big 12 record, and then 4 and 7 in games against the top 25. So, I mean, if you look at both teams here, obviously you can see why Miami and Iowa State are uh, seeded 10th and 11th respectively in the Midwest region. But both teams in this tournament have been excellent, uh, to say the least, so far. You see Miami beat USC and Auburn, Auburn being a two seed. Um, so the Hurricanes beat two excellent opponents there over the past couple of games. I mean, they, I mean, they ended up beating Auburn by um, 18 points in the second round, which was huge. And Iowa State, of course, they haven't scored a lot of points in this tournament yet. They scored 59 against LSU and 54 against Wisconsin, but uh, their defense held both opponents, um, and Iowa State won both those games in the end. So both teams, I mean, you see Miami's played very well all around so far in this tournament, and Iowa State's defense has been really uh, what a stifled team so far in this tournament. So it's a pretty interesting matchup. I mean, Miami overall played better in conference play, that's for sure. I mean, Iowa State was 7-11. Uh, and 11 in Big 12 play this season. But either way, both teams very capable. Uh, whichever team wins this game has got a good chance to uh, definitely make a deeper run. Um, definitely maybe even pass the Elite Eight, that's for sure. I mean, you got two dangerous teams right here going head to head. Uh, it's a good matchup. Games be on Friday, March 25th in Chicago. Your tip off is roughly 10 p.m. Eastern. Spreads going Miami here by two and a half. Um, over under is 133, but the BPI disagrees with the spread and it's going towards now, the Cyclones here, 54.6%. Iowa State is favored in this matchup, according to the BPI. If you look at the tournament run, once again, Miami's beaten two excellent opponents. I mean, USC is a very good team. Miami beat them by two, and uh, they beat Auburn, who's a two seed, um, the two seed in the Midwest region, and Miami beat them by 18. And if you look at Iowa State, they beat LSU a six seed, 59-54, and beat Wisconsin 54-49. Only held Wisconsin to 49 points um, in that game in the round of 32. Here's your stat comparison. Miami's got 74.8 points a game, 71 points allowed, and their BPI rank is 56 versus Iowa State. They've got 66.5 points a game, 63 allowed, and the BPI rank is 53. So you can see, I mean, Iowa State, their defense, I mentioned this already before, but Iowa State's defense is really what is, or really where this team shines. I mean, 63 points allowed um, out of a team that is 22 and 12 is definitely very impressive. And Iowa State's offense, they're going to have to definitely make more than, I would say, uh, 50 points in this match. I mean, they've scored under 60 for both their first games, but I mean, Miami's a team that, I mean, I mean, they're seeded lower than Wisconsin and LSU. I mean, you could consider both teams, for both teams here, this is the lowest seed they've played so far, but I mean, scoring under 60 points is, that's not going to win you a national championship. So, I mean, Iowa State's offense is going to have to score some more points in this matchup, that's for sure, but their defense uh, definitely is playing at a very high level right now. And if you look at the BPIs, um, Iowa State is 53, Miami is 56, so the Cyclones are seeded or ranked slightly higher than Miami in the BPI rankings. Here are some notable matchups as well. Miami, of course, was 1-1 one one against Duke this season. They lost to Alabama by 32, uh, but they beat North Carolina by 28, so you can see kind of uh, this team. I mean, they, they've had a couple of bad games, that's for sure, but at the same time, I mean, they beat North Carolina by 28, so uh, that's obviously a huge win. They're 1-1 one one against Virginia Tech, and then they lost to Notre Dame by 4 at one point this season as well. Iowa State has played a more tough schedule, but they haven't performed quite as well. Uh, they lost to Baylor and Kansas twice. They were 1-2 and two against Texas Tech, uh, beat Iowa by 20, uh, but they're 1-1 one one against Texas. So they've got a couple of good wins for sure, but, I mean, they've dropped a lot of games against some high-caliber opponents. I mean, they've played, they have played a tougher schedule than Miami, I would say. Um, I mean, they've played 11 ranked opponents versus Miami, who, isn't, who hasn't played anywhere near that much. But um, at the same time, Iowa State didn't really perform all that well um, in conference play, especially. I mean, they were 7 and 11 in conference play this season. Some key points Miami 25 and 10 overall. They beat USC and Auburn in the first two rounds. Definitely um, two major wins. I mean, both opponents, I mean, both of these teams here have played some good teams and uh, performed really well against them. And Miami, they've consistently played at a high level, especially in the downstretch of this season. And I would say Miami's playing as well as anyone right now. I mean, after beating Auburn and obviously that huge one over USC, I mean, Miami, both these teams are dangerous, that's for sure. 
I mean, both teams weren't expected to get to this to this point in the Sweet 16, so it's huge. And if you look at Iowa State, they got huge wins over LSU and Wisconsin so far. Defensively, they've been outstanding to say the least. And Brockington, um, he is he's been an excellent player for Iowa State. He's averaging over 17 points a game. I mean, he is he's a tough player to stop. And uh, for Miami, that's going to be definitely the key player to uh, to keep an eye on in this matchup. So a lot of factors at play here. Definitely a very intriguing matchup caught up here in the Sweet 16. Definitely an unexpected one too. I mean, when you got Auburn and uh, USC and Wisconsin, I mean, all three of those teams especially were expected to potentially be a team to make a deep run in this tournament. And you got, I mean, Miami and Iowa State in the Sweet 16, definitely an unexpected matchup, but either way, it's going to be a close one. But that's how let's get to the prediction here for Miami and Iowa State coming up here in your Sweet 16. I'm going to go Hurricanes here. 68-63 is my predicted final score. This is a tough one, too. I mean, these Sweet 16 matchups are... I mean, they're difficult to pick, that's for sure. But I think Hurricanes, I'm more confident picking them in this matchup just because they're a more balanced team. Iowa State's defense is good, and I think they hold Miami under 70 points. But in the end, I think Miami is going to find a way, and uh, they're going to win this game 68-63. to I mean, Iowa State is very capable of winning this game. I wouldn't be surprised one bit if they did, but I feel like I feel like the Hurricanes are not right now coming off of that huge win over Auburn. I mean, they beat Auburn by 18 points in the end. I mean, so Miami is... Both teams are playing really well right now, but I'm more confident with how Miami's playing, so I'm going to go with them 68-63. to 63. I'm going to go 55% towards Miami, so it's obviously it's obviously close. It's tough to pick over under 133. I'm going to take the under for this game and Miami to cover, so a kind of a defensive matchup. I don't expect it to be too high scoring. Um, I'm going to take Miami to cover the spread, which is currently 2.5 points uh, towards them right now, and they end up winning the game by 5, but... That's it. Let me know your thoughts and comments below on this game, and I appreciate you guys watching as always. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Catch you on the next one.